Bucha, 25 kilometers from Kiev, once used to be a beautiful city with a population of more than 30,000. It had a railway line that cut through it, a serene river flowing by it, but all that has changed overnight. The city's expanse soon turned into mass graves and the community that was once bustling with people got replaced by complete rubble. Antonina Kaletnik lived in one of the apartments that has turned into ruins now. She couldn't find her son. She sat in front of the building that she once lived in and watched emergency workers search desperately for her son. When a journalist made rounds of Borodyanka town of Bucha in Kiev, she saw empty houses with ceramic roosters. Amid the ruins, it was the only thing that survived. It became a symbol of resistance for hopeless Ukrainians. Named after the city of Vasil Kiev, this rooster used to be mass produced and found a place in everyone's homes. Vasil Kiev is known for the traditional majolica art, a glazed earthenware clay pottery. Designed by renowned artist Prokip Bidasyuk, it was a popular piece selling more than a million pieces per year all the way from 1950s to 1970s. There's also a famous saying in Ukraine, without a rooster, a house is deaf. The bird is seen as a symbol of fire, belligerence, new beginnings and dawn after a dark night. It was also believed that roosters crowing has magical powers that can keep evil spirits away and many people attach it to the roof of their buildings only to protect them. Soon after Ukrainian artist Alexander Grekov made a web poster featuring the rooster with a message hold on It became quite popular online, was shared by Twitter users to instill optimism. When Boris Johnson and Zelensky were walking through Kiev, a woman from Kharkiv even gifted a ceramic rooster to Johnson. I'm from London. I'm from Kharkiv. Borodyanka has heavily suffered wounds of the invasion. Zelensky called the situation more dreadful than Bucha. But the ceramic rooster that remained untouched by fighting serves as a symbol of hope, resilience and resistance for Ukrainians. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.